Hello guys, welcome sa channel natin. So for this video guys, pag-usapan natin yung upcoming update ng Crypto Mines. Kasi ako super excited ako at natutuwa ako sa update na to. So I want to share guys sa inyo kung ano yung uh, narinig ko, natutunan ko, and yung pagkakaintindi ko sa update na ito. And bago tayo pumunta doon sa main video natin, guys, I want to say thank you sa inyong lahat sa pag-like and subscribe sa channel na to. And I prepared a raffle para sa lahat. So make sure to like and subscribe guys ha. Every week, meron dalawang mananalo ng Young Adult Planners. So make sure to watch the uh, video kung paano makasali dyan ha. Andito lang yung sa channel. Um, Magko-comment lang kayo dyan ng uh, black or pink. Tapos, uh, meron tayong consolation prize na bubunutin din natin every Sunday kasabay ng planners. So, 5 na R1 miner yun. And, bibili ko yun sa marketplace. So, as long as okay si Crypto Mines. Ha? Yung raffle natin, maglala siya hanggang end of this year. Yan. Kaya, join na kayo guys. So, yan. Uh, diretso tayo sa video. So guys, nandito ngayon tayo sa CryptoMinesMedium.com So dito nilagay ng CryptoMines team yung uh, kompletong details ng upcoming na, na update or patch. So ayan o, CryptoMines update pre-raids. So ako excited ako lagi guys pag pinag-uusapan na yung game ay may upcoming na raids. Kasi ako po ay... Uh, MMORPG fans. So, maglalaro ko ng Final Fantasy XIV, uh, uh, Fantasy Star Online 2, pero pasilip-silip na lang. Kasi wala nang tao dun eh. Tapos, Black Desert Online, ganyan. Pero, back, back tayo dito sa uh, pag-uusapan natin. So, free read. So, lalapasan na natin yung, yan, yung mga introduction. Introduction. Diretso na tayo dito, what's new. So, dito sa new update, guys, ang maganda, eh, kung may lakad kayo at hindi ka pa makapag-mind sa eksaktong oras na nag-start yung, ano mo, yung contract, wala na problema kasi meron ng reset time. And, buti naman at na-realize ko <laughs> development team. Kasi, ang hirap talaga, guys. Flitch, eto, ang ganda, guys. Um... So, dito, medyo excited ako. So, yung fleets. So, ang fleet kasi, kung imagine mo, is para kayong, para na kayong, ano ba, parang team. Yan o, kaya fleet, di ba? So, they will be NFT created from the combination of all your workers and ships. And may nabasa ako sa group ng CryptoMines NFT uh, community. Okay? Shout out again sa mga admins doon na super babae. Um, magiging parang isang NFT na yan. Halimbawa, bumuo ka ng team mo. Magiging na silang NFT. Anong mangyayari doon? Makakasave ka na ng gas fee. Kasi, guys, uh, pag natalo ka, ang sakit sa loob. <laughs> guys, nga pala. Uh, para doon sa mga ngayon lang nakita yung video ko. Gumawa ako ng second account ko mga 3 days ago. And unfortunately, yung main account ko at yung bago kong gawa, 2 days na akong talo, guys. And napakasak. Alam nyo guys kung ano nagpapasakit doon. Yung gas fees. At kinumpute mo, uh, I have 6 na workers to sa bawat accounts. So, 300 pesos uh, daily uh, yung nawawala sa akin doon sa contract na yun. <laughs> Tapos, eh dahil dalawa ka, so, so 600 plus the gas fees. So, imagine mo yung unang araw na talo ko, uh, 600 workers, tapos another 200 gas fees, so 800 pesos. Yeah, minsan inisip ko pa, para na ako nagsusuga dito sa crypto mines. Kasi by chance eh, hindi talaga, hindi kasi siya skill base eh. So wala kang control, para magro-roll ka ng dice kung manalo ka matalo. But anyway, balik tayo dito. So yun na nakakatuwa, gagawin mo ng isang parang team yun. And then, sabi doon, mas magiging mura na yung gas fee. And isa pa guys, yung fleet daw, pag binuo mo yan, pwede mo na siyang ibenta as a team. So may advantage siya para sa mga nagbebenta ng team. Halimbawa, uh, or magpapa pre-build ka ng team mo sa crypto. Masa, say, merong isang P2P seller. 
na sabi is uh, meron siyang binibetang team or fleet na. Yan ang 400 mining power. Isang send na yan, hindi yung uh, isa-isa pa isi-send na, na workers and ships. Fleets na siya. Yan. Uh, workers and ships. This will lower the cost of gas to all miners, guys. Um, Napaka-good news dito, lalo na sa mga bagong parating na investors or game gamers ng crypto magic. You can add NFTs to these fleets or you can disassemble them. Ayan, no? So, pwede mo pa rin siya customize recovering all your workers' ships separately again. Ito, may, may initial cost siya, alam ko, 0.5 dollars. Ayun, nasa baba. So, sige, jump na tayo doon. Pero dito, your expeditions will now cost the equivalent of sending just one NFT, guys. Just one NFT. So, hindi, alam niyo, guys, um, nakakatuwa naman yung crypto mines kasi maraming napapalapit kay Lord. <laughs> kasi talagang kapag click mo, eh, napapadasal ka talaga. Pero, napakalaking, ano to, ginhawa nito. Maraming nang makakatulog after this update. Kasi, Talaga napakasakit guys, lalo na yung malalaki yung team na pag natalo ka talaga, parang ang nagtapon ng pera. So, fl fleets, main features, dito na tayo. They will be able to have a custom name. So, pwede na, bro, SSJC, or kung anong name mo, or apelido mo, pwede mo lagay dyan. The price of creating a fleet will vary depending on how many NFT you add to them. Ah, so kung gano rin kalaki. Once your fleet is created, you can add more spaceships and workers to make it stronger. You must pay in eternal. And the cost of 0.5 US dollars per NFT added. Ah, okay. So, ganito kalalabas na guys. So, sa pagbuo mo ng team, yan, ma-prepression ka na kung magkano yun. And then, every time na magdadagdag ka pa, yan, may bayad na 0.5 US dollars. One dollar is around 50, so 25 pesos. For example, if you create a fleet with four NFTs, it will cost you a total of two US dollars. Tama. Kanya. More ships and workers can be added to them, but they cannot be removed without separating the entire fleet. So choose your crew carefully. Ah, okay. So, pwede mo nga i-disassemble. Kaya lang, mahihiwalay ng buo. Ganun ang kalalabasan. Ayan, ang sabi, but they cannot be removed without separating the entire fleet. So, ibig sabihin, pag tinisassemble mo yan, gagastos ka ulit sa pagbuo. Pero, okay pa rin, di ba? Kung bawi-bawi ka naman na sa crypto mines. Eh. Next, they will have as many spaces as your spaceship spaceships allow, keeping a maximum of 10 spaceships per fleet. So, 10 spaceships. 10 spaceships pa rin naman. Mm, you will be able to have multiple fleets on your account. Oh! Nice! Hindi mo na rin kailangan ng multiple accounts. Kasi pwede ka na may multiple fleets. So, alimbawa itong maganda guys. So, alimbawa, uh, meron kang gusto na itong team na to binaw mo pang dahil gusto mo matas yung success rate. Ano ba, 400 mining power talaga siya. Tapos, sabi mo, sige, pang mamain ko lang to do sa 300 planets. Ito namang second fleet ko. Sige, ito medyo pang risky. Gagawin ko to do sa 1,000 mining power. Ganun. Okay na, okay. Ma um, magaling, magaling. Magaling yung ginagawa ng development team dito. They will gain experience and level up. Allowing them to increase rewards in the long run. When you disband your fleet, you will lose the levels you have gained. So, yun lang nga, hindi ko pa, no? Uh, kung paano, kasi RNG pa rin ito, eh. Uh, sige, magkaka-experience yan, tsaka, no? So, we'll see na lang, guys, kung talagang paano makakatulong yung experience sa, sa chance mo na maging successful yung pagmamay. So, ito next. Individuals contracts to your workers will be replaced by fleet contracts which will have the same total cost of regular. <laughs> same pa rin pala guys. Kala ko sobrang sila. Akala ko, yung isang fleet is, ano na, 
confidence na <laughs> pang isang contract. Pero same pa rin naman pala, parang uh, in ano lang, sinamarize lang. Kapag shill or cut lang, tinotal na nila, oh, ito na lahat yan. But in a single transaction, ayun <laughs> Cost of regular regular contracts, but in a single transaction, reducing gas cost. Sa bagay, kahit pa paano, makakatipid ka sa gas cost. Kasi yung gas cost nito, siguro baka, isipin mo, maglalagay mo lang ng contract, baka 20 pesos each yan. You'll be able to choose between using Eternal from your unclaimed rewards or from your wallet. will also get a small discount for hiring them for longer periods. Ito yung tama. Meron kasing option guys na 7 days, 15 days, and 30 days. Pero, wala namang advantage yung pagkuha mo ng 30 days or even nung 15 days. Kasi pareho lang ng price. Now, sana, ang maganda is, bawa, mas less than $2 yung 15. Or tapos, mas less than $3 or $4 yung, yung pang one month. Diba? Pero meron naman ang dahilan yung mga tao, bumili ng mas mahabang contracts. Diba? Yan. So, treats can be bought and sold in the marketplace. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina guys. So, maganda niyan. Siguro mag, sa marketplace, magkakaroon na ng tab din dyan for, uh, for fleets. So, pipili ka na lang doon. Oh, ito pang 400 mining power. Ito pang uh, 600, 1000, so on and so forth. Uh, so, fuel. Ito medyo, ito lang yung tama yung comment nun. Kasi akala ko itong fuel ay papalit sa contracts. Pero hindi pala. So, another resource to. It will be necessary to be able to perform regular exploration. Regular explorations to the planets and will have to be purchased prior to the expedition. So, guys, ayan, meron ng fuel bago makalipad yung ating spaceship. Yung fleet natin. Then, the cost of fuel will vary depending on the planet you wish to explore. The farther away the planet is, the more fuel will be needed to explore it, having approximately a value of 5% of the reward of the planet. So, ayan, medyo masakit yun guys. Kasi kung uh, Gawin natin example yung maximum na reward. Ah. Kung let's say 20,000 yun. Magkano yung 5% yun? Diba? Uh, basta, masakit-sakit na rin yung plus. Yung contract mo pa. Pag natalo ka, talagang medyo ouchy-ouchy. So, all eternals, all eternal collected from fuel will go directly into the rewards pool. Ah, nice naman. So, yan ang maganda. Ah, patuloy na may dadagdag dun sa, ano, sa rewards pool natin. So, I guess, I'm sorry, ah, sana hindi naman naging maging ganun kahaba itong video natin. Spaceships, to give even more value and utility to your awesome NFTs, we have decided to redo the functionality of the ships. For this, we have designed a rank system up to five variations. Okay, so babagwin nila. The rank of your fleet will be selected by a majority system. The rarity of the spaceships that have a majority in your fleet will decide the rank of your fleet. Ah, okay, okay. So kung anong mas marami, let's say, meron ka limang spaceships. Uh, let's say, mas marami dyan yung three stars. Yun yung magiging ano mo, yung rank ng fleet mo. Let's say, meron ka lang isang 4 star doon, tsaka 5 stars. Madadrag, mahata or mapupul ng level ng majority ng spaceships mo, yung rank mo. And being a majority system. Example, if you have 9 spaceships, okay, so 2 ships of 5. Okay, so doon sa 9 spaceships mo, meron 5. Ah, meron dalawang 5 star. Merong tatlong 4 star, 3 ships of 4 star, and 4 ships of 1 star. The resulting rank of your fleet will be rank D. Alam ko guys, yung rank D, yun yung pinakamababa. Dahil nga, 4 ships mo ay 1. So, yun yung magiging rank ng fleet mo. Okay, tingnan natin second example. You have 3 spaceships. 1 ship, 
ang isa daw doon ay 4 star, 1 ship 3 star, and 1 ship 2 star. The resulting rank of your fleet will be the lowest for not meeting the most repeated plus 1. Ah, okay. So, yung pang 2 star na rank ang makukuha mo. Marketplace, we monumentally improve our internal marketplace. Finally, sana gumanda pa. Kasi ang hirap talaga ng marketplace na to support the hundreds of thousands of transactions that take place daily. The marketplace tax will go up by 5%, reaching a total of 15% na. Guys. All eternal collected from the marketplace will go directly to the reward pool. So, okay pa rin naman. Yan. So, planets. We modified the base success percentage of our regular planets, allowing you to add more importance to your ships when selecting a powerful fleet. If you explore a planet with a fleet of lower rank than recommended, you will have a lower success rate. However, if its rank is higher than recommended, so makakaroon na ng recommended ba? You will have a higher success rate. Allowing you to break the barrier of 88% success rate. So, ulitin natin. Ha? If you explore a planet with a fleet of lower rank than recommended. Ah, okay. So, ganito guys. Yung mga planet na yan, magkakaroon na ng nakalagay dyan. Diba? Recommended na mining power. Yun. Kapag nag attempt ka magpalipad doon ng fleet na mas mababa doon sa recommended na mining power. Yung success chance mo ay bababa. You will have a lower success rate. Pero kapag uh, its rank is higher than recommended, parang ano to eh, parang system requirements sa computer. Basta, oh, ito yung minimum requirements dyan. Kapag hindi mo yun na meet, ang bagal or magpipail ka. Pero pag ito, uh, nalagpasan mo itong recommended namin or yung minimum requirements nalagpasan mo, mataas yung success rate mo. Ayan. So, nagbigay sila dito guys ng table. Uh, tignan nyo na lang guys ha. Uh, masyadong haba yung video natin eh. Meron tayo sa description nito. Ito, remember that if your spaceships are rank S and belong to the veteran skill, your maximum success probability on the Farthest planet will be 91%. So, safe travels and explorers. So, ayan guys, uh, super excited ako na mga experience itong mga update nila kahit dalawang araw na ako may talo. So, I know naman na uh, mananalo at mananalo rin. Saan pa ba naman ano yan? Pupunta. So, ayan guys, I hope nakatulong to para dun sa mga... Uh, walang time na <laughs> magbasa. Mas gusto nila yung nakikinig. Ayan. And kung meron akong namali guys, uh, don't be shy to correct me to sa comment section below. So, yun. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Sana hindi siya naging super haba talaga. And sana, na, ano naman, na-enjoy nyo naman. And, uh, and if you do guys, share some love, hit the likes and subscribe button. And make sure guys na uh, Yun nga, mag-like and subscribe kasi may raffle tayo tomorrow, uh, Sunday, that's October 31. Okay? Two, fla two planners ng young adult yung ipamimigay, pwede kayo mamili black or pink, and five na R1 minors yung ipamimigay natin as consolation. So, thank you guys. Uh, please take care. I'll see you on the next. Bye!